Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will discuss the local area network or LAN. In this video, we will cover the following topics. We will cover the definition of LAN, characteristics of LAN, many benefits of LANs, different types of LAN, and at the end, the topologies of LAN. So let's get started. So what is a LAN? A LAN is a local area network which is a collection of devices connected together in one physical location such as building, office or home. Now when the network is restricted to a geographical location such as a building, a building of, let's suppose, a building of a school, an office of an organization or your home, then we can say that this is LAN. Here in this picture we can see that we have a switch and different devices are connected to this, uh, to this switch. This whole arrangement make a LAN. Now what are the some uh, characteristics of LAN? The main characteristic that we already discussed is that of the limitation of a geographical area. This means that the LAN is limited to a building to a, such as an office, an organization, uh, uh, education institution, or a home. The LAN consists of mainly uh, two types of cable. These are the Ethernet and the optical fiber. Such as in this picture, we can see that this, this is a switch. And here, these cables, these two cables, they are Ethernet cables. So this arrangement from LN, the other end of this Ethernet cable may be connected to a server or to a PC or to a laptop. The LAN also consists of switches, such as shown in this switch. The switch may be a layer 2 switch or a layer 3 switch. Now what is the difference between a layer 2 and layer 3 switch? The layer 2, as the name suggests, is it works on the layer 2 of OSI layer. It means that it only understands and it only stores the MAC addresses. While the layer 3 addresses, it works on layer 3 of OSI layer and it also understands and we can con configure IP addresses on a layer 3 switch. Then the LAN can also consist of routers. Router is used when we want to move from the boundary of the LAN to another LAN or to, let's suppose, to an internet, then we use router. Now the router is also a layer 3 device. And then at the end we have peripheral devices. These peripheral devices consist of, uh, may consist of PCs, laptops, printers and many other devices such as servers, etc. Now this example shows uh, a typical example of a LAN. Here as we discussed already, we uh, can see that there is a switch and we have many peripheral devices such as laptops, this uh, PC, another desktop, a gaming console, then a printer and finally a server. So these, this whole arrangement, this consists of a LAN. Now these whole devices and this whole arrangement may be present inside uh, a building of an organization, inside a school, or maybe inside, inside someone's home. Now here we can see that there is also a router. When we use the router, now router is used when we want to move from this boundary of LAN to somewhere far, that is uh, far away from this specific location, such as maybe we want to go to the internet. When we want to connect to internet, then we need a router. Or maybe this, this is an organization and it has another office or another branch office somewhere else in another city. Then we also need a router to connect, connect to this branch office.
Now, what are the benefits of LAN? LAN has uh, many benefits such as sharing of resources such as files and printers. As we uh, saw in the previous diagram, that there was a printer connected to the uh, LAN. Now, this printer can be used by all the devices because it is centrally connected to the switch. Similarly, the uh, access of centralized application and servers can also uh, be done through this LAN. As we saw in the previous example, this printer can be accessed by all these devices. If we didn't have the switch or we, if we didn't have uh, had the arrangement of this LAN, then each device needed to be connected directly to this printer, which will, uh, would have been a big hassle for us. Another uh, benefit is that now we can use a single internet connection for all the devices inside LAN. And again, we can implement any security arrangement, any centralized security that can be applied on all the devices inside the LAN. Such as, let's suppose, if we go to the previous example now here, let's suppose if we want to protect all these devices from anything crum coming from this side or from the internet. Now we can, what we can do is, we can install a firewall here. And this firewall will protect all the devices. We don't need to have a dedicated firewall for each device. A single firewall is enough to secure all the devices. Now, what are the different types of LAN? There are mainly two types of LAN. One is the client-server LAN and the other is peer-to-peer -peer LAN. Now, what is the client-server LAN? As the name suggests, in this type of LANs, we have many clients and a server or many server these clients connected these, these clients connect to the centralized server and get the service from there now the server is basically uh, having huge resources and uh, uh, huge resources in the form of compute storage processing power so it can handle many clients and their request simultaneously server has all the required storage and application processing these clients don't run the uh, application that they need to access locally these applications are run on the server the example of uh, such lan is that of uh, a lan inside a business or a government network let's suppose a business is having a local server and they may be running, let's suppose, a local portal or a website. And then this server is connected through a switch. And many clients are accessing this server in this LAN. So this we can call this uh, LAN as client server LAN. The second type of LAN is that peer-to-peer -peer LAN. This LAN functions without a central server. It means that we have, let's suppose this is a client and here we have another client and let's suppose this is a switch and these clients are connected to this switch. Now we can call this LAN as peer to peer. Both these clients may be called as peers and this LAN is called peer to peer LAN. This uh, LAN cannot handle heavy traffic because this is a client and this is a client. It does not have many high processing power and storage as compared to the server. And these uh, all the client or all the devices they share equal functionality inside the LAN because these have this client and this client they uh, they all have almost same resources and same functionalities a home network is a typical example of a peer-to-peer -peer LAN let's suppose inside home you have a laptop 
and then you have a PC and you have connected them through a switch, you can share files through this network. This may be, uh, we can consider this as an example of a peer-to-peer -peer LAN. Now, what are the different types of uh, different topologies of LAN? The LAN have uh, many topologies such as the star, the ring, the mesh, the bus topology, and the tree topology. Now, what are these topologies and what are their advantages and disadvantages? I will cover all these in a separate video soon. So that's for all uh, for today. I hope you people uh, enjoyed the video. If you have any question, you can comment on the video and I will happy to answer. If you like these slides and want to have it, uh, you can also comment. I can uh, send you these slides. And also please like and subscribe uh, to my channel so that you can receive notification about all the uh, upcoming videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.